Bye. Hey guys! Today I am going to show you how I water all my house plants, except for my succulents, because I water them a little bit differently and I don't water them every time I water all my house plants, because I don't water them every week usually, except for one, which I will water today. Um, so, anyways, I don't use any fertilizer for most of them every week, but some of them I do. And so I will show you how I do that. Um, firstly though, I do use the plant spikes in most of my plants for fertilizer. Um, and then I'll go over some of them with buffalo, which I have shown you in um, a previous video. Um, anyways, the only one that I'm probably going to fertilize today will be my African violets. Otherwise, everything else I'll just be watering um, mostly mostly kind of the same. They're all just going to be used with regular water. Um, however, my orchid, I water a little bit differently just because I only have one right now. Um, so we moved and got it, we gave them away um, when we moved and stuff. And so now I have one that I've been trying to rescue for about a year and I water it a little differently than you might expect. Um, I also have two air plants. So I'll show you how I water those. and. Um, and a lot of um, pretty basic house plants. And anyways, I'll just show you how I do that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first I am going to take these air plants out and I'm going to soak them. Okay, so what I do is I use water from my electric teapot because it's always room temperature. I just keep water in here. And um, if I, you know, just heat up the water, then I don't use it, of course, because I don't want it to be hot water, but I do want it to be not cold because these are tropical plants and I don't like to put them in cold water. I'm sure it's fine. I just, I don't know. I just like to be a little nicer to them. You can see that they're already much greener and a little plumper. Anyways, I leave them in there while I water everything and then I take them out after a little while. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I water um, this one. Okay, so I don't think that this is going to make it unless, like, it looks like, whoops, here, let me focus in on there a little better. So this looks to me like it's going to be making a new leaf. There's something in there. So because um, there are two roots. Um, this one, this one I don't know. Um, see how it's all dry? It needs to be watered. Um, this leaf is just not happy. It just shows all these signs of it just not being healthy at all. So wrinkly and anyways, it's not getting really very much water from the like the little baby roots that it has, the little short ones. And um, what happened with this was um, I got this super like it was like 50 cents or something, and um, it was of course dying because it was in moss when it should be in. Um, the like the actual growing medium for these I mean this would be better off if it was it was just exposed to the air so um, rather than being in moss that suffocates them so what I do I don't like this to be too cold either eh, that's warm. and I just run it under water until they start And now I do keep this moist. Um, so, here, let me see if I can show you kind of how I do this. Okay, so I just put some of the growing medium in my hand. And I do keep this, uh, like, I'll take it out and I'll pour, put some, like, I'll take my um, orchid fertilizer in some water and I pour it on this and this is in a little like cup thing and I let it drain out um, 
but it's still damp enough that I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I just needed to water the actual plant itself and water the roots. And so I just water the roots until they turn green and um, you know they've soaking up some of that water and give them a little bit of a chance to do that. And um, so and I just check on it every once like you know sometimes more than once a week. Um, it just depends. But there is signs of life right here. So I am really hoping I have been babying this thing for so long and it just kept dying more and more and there's finally signs that it might, you know, survive. So, um, well, hopefully it will. Okay, so I just use my pot, or not my pot, my pitcher. Okay, so I'm going to water this one first, my um, string of pearls. I do water this one every week and I fertilize it when I water all my other plants. I just water it through and I have a dish underneath and once the water comes through, then I pour it out. Then I have my asparagus fern that I water. Um, and I'll also mist all my ferns today too. So I just, um, these ones, I don't know if you can tell. Um, so see how the water, I, I um, water these a little bit more than my other plants because they like more. And um, some of, like this one, um, I want it to be the water to drain away a little slower. If it drains away fast, then I give it a little bit more water just so that way I make sure it's soaked up a lot. This umka is actually my husband's and he waters it too, but I usually, I mean every once in a while. But I'm its main caretaker, so I just kind of dump a whole bunch on it because it's in a, a pretty big pot. And um, it seems to need quite a bit of water. I don't, I mean, it's an outdoor plant, but he has to bring it in inside. This is our only outdoor plant, but we bring it in during the winter. Um, I have some succulents up there. Um, okay, so here's my African violets. This is my really big one. It's actually has three plants in here now instead of, there was four, but the pot broke apart. I had to separate it. And this one, um, is now starting to bloom that came from this. It had it bloomed for a long time. And now it is. I rotate these every week. I just kind of turn them and um, I go through there. Are, I already cleaned everything today, but I go through and I clean up all the dead blooms, all the dead flowers and but it's beautiful. So since I only have two of these plants, I don't mix up any fertilizer for them. Like right under here, I just kind of lift up the leaves and um, I always have to go through and clean out some when I do that. And, um, and I just drop the dr drop some in there. You're supposed to put like seven to 10 drops, but I think that that's per plant. I just, I do it every week, so I don't worry about if I did quite enough. And then I just give it, I don't, I kind of water them like I would a succulent in some ways that was because this one um, the inner pot broke and I just repot it in this one I do need to find a new pot for it um, but there's so many plants in here that I give it a little bit more water than I would give this one so this one there's a good spot right there oh it's growing over the cat so Let's focus in on it a little better. Um, um, I usually do this two-handed so you can make sure not to get any water from the leaves, but this one I won't water quite as much. Just enough. That was probably a little bit too much. But it also has, has it to where it can drain out. So when I do give this one too much water, it's fine. But this one can handle a little bit more water just because there's so many plants in it. Okay, and I'm also going to make sure my peat moss is still a little moist, but needs a just touch. And it is okay if these do dry out a little bit. Um, they, so far with this one, it's been fine when it's dried out before, um, and I watered it, and it just. It didn't seem to like drying out all the way, but um, 
it was totally fine. It didn't seem to bother it too much at all. This one, of course, I don't ever fertilize this. If you do fertilize it, you can kill it because it does not take any nutrients from its roots. It digests its own nutrients, you know, so um, if you give it any fertilizer, then you can actually kill it because it's just too much for it to handle. And this guy needs a little bit of water. There you go. You also need a little bit of shade. It's the afternoon and I have these curtains that I can pull to shade these because my aloe vera does not like being in the full sun. This aloe vera does, but it's also in regular potting soil. So I think that might, it just retains more moisture or something. Um, anyways, it's kind of weird. Um, so, what was this one called again? I can't remember. Um, someone told me what it was called, and I don't remember. Anyways, this one will be a good example to show you how I water it, and then I just, I see how it drains, and see it's draining just fast enough for this kind of plant. My son always, he sticks his windmills in, his, in these plants. So, yeah, that one's draining just fast enough. Whereas, um, wow, nope, that's weird. Um, when I water like my succulents, I want that to drain quickly. Here's my bird's nest fern, and I have some rocks underneath. I need to put some water in to keep it hum more humid around it. And since I've moved this bird's nest fern, it's doing better. It's I think I might need to repot it, put it, give it into some better soil that retains the moisture better because it seems to drain awfully fast. Um, but it's doing much better where I have it. It's getting more moisture. It still doesn't look very good, but it's doing better, I promise. What? What? What, sweet thing? What? <laughs> do you want a treat? You do? Get you a treat. <gasps> <laughs> oh, there you go. Good girl, Vivi. <laughs> you so cute. Yeah, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, my water is filled up. These need a little bit of water. I'm not gonna water those today. And, oh, I'm not gonna water this today because I'm actually going to take this with me, so I need to remember. Take this plant with me because I'm going to be giving it to my cousin. She likes the bamboo and I have two of them and I don't need to. So I'm not gonna water this one because I'm gonna water it with all my succulents. Oh, I'm not watering my rubber plant today because these are kind of like the Sansevieria, the um, snake plant back there. Um, they don't need watered very often at all. Um, like they like to dry out and they just, um, I, I mean I've watered this thing once since I've gotten it just because I felt like I should. It's just doing just fine and not having any really very much done to it. But I've only had it for about a, like not even a month yet so anyway so we'll see how it keeps doing so I don't think that this is the like shining stars Drakenia or whatever I think it I mean Croton I think that it is a uh, Drakenia because it's not growing up from the bottom see how um, come on focus there see how it just grows from the stem whereas this Croton it grows more down from the base so I'm thinking that um, I mean, of course, this is a croton, um, but I'm thinking that this is um, definitely a drakenia. They, it looks a lot like um, some crotons do look like this, um, but not quite with the speckling. There, this I've seen more drakenias that look like this. Anyways, um, so I keep some water in this, and I just kind of I take care of both of these, like I take care of my ferns with a little humidity. And I um, maybe miss them if um, it's a little extra dry. 
Oh, in this one, I put my uh, I put my moss in here. Try to see if I can keep it alive out of the terrarium because um, I turned my terrariums into um, preserved moss terrariums. And then I give this one just a little bit of water. I don't really give that too much water. And my Sansevieria is still a little moist from two weeks ago, so I'm not gonna water that. And then I water this one and this one. Okay, so just water, I just water this, this one a little bit and, you know, not too terribly much. It doesn't seem to need tons and tons of water. Um, and then, this one I actually do water kind of quite a bit. And then I have this one way up here that I can never tell how much I watered it. Oh, there, that one needs some water. It needs some misting too. This one, give you a little update on it from um, my plant tour. It has a little, it has a little baby leaf and then it has another one that's starting from down here. So um, it looks like this, and it looks like there's another one right there too. So it looks like this plant is actually um, going to look pretty again, thankfully, because it was just so bad. <laughs> See how that drained away fast? That's exactly what I want for this kind of plant. I wanna give it like a good dose, but I want it to drain fast. Uh, just because um, that just seems to be what this one likes. It doesn't like to be, like it does okay in the aquaponics and stuff, but when it's in soil, it seems to me like it likes to have some faster drainage. And there's a rubber band in there from many rubber band fights. <laughs> and that's all that I have in this area. I have a lot of succulents over here, but I do have, um, some seed starts. So these are all my son's seed starts that he has. He has some nasturtiums and some beans and some beets and some oregano and something else. I don't know. We just planted a lot of different things, but I need my sprayer. Wait, first I'm going to go finish. I'm going to water my last plants. Okay, so I have an extra plant spot right there, but um, I'm just going to be watering this one and I just fill it all the way up. Give it lots of water, do that every week, and then I just water this one every once in a while. I need to put it in soil so it'll be happier, but um, maybe that's a project for next week. Okay. So these two are a little different, just be, well this one not so much because it has several plants in it that I'm just letting them grow for a while until I decide to use them somewhere. But this one is in such a tiny, teeny tiny pot and I want to not worry about watering it too much. It, um, these um, spider plants do just fine in, it seems to be in um, a pot that has a little, you know, the drainage isn't quite as much just because they do okay with a lot of water, but it's just still never idea ideal. Okay, and then I have one pot left to water. This is a huge Moses in the basket that just finished blooming and with an angel wing begonia that I just grew in. They both grew in together in the aquaponics. So I give this a whole bunch of water just because it likes, um, it's like a water loving plant. So, well, mostly the um, Moses in a basket. It's just so pretty with this beautiful purple and then this, I mean, purple and green. It's just so beautiful. I love the colors. And then the beautiful pink flowers that it has. I just love it. So, I have an update on my, my um, aloe hybrid. It is blooming, and I don't know if you can see, let's see if you can see the brown, ugly outdoors, and 
late winter. There you go. Now you can see this. Aren't they beautiful? It's a whole whole bloom stalk. It's huge. And it's just loving life in this window. I like the green variation that is in those. It's just so beautiful. And it just comes right from the center. This beautiful aloe with all these babies coming off of it. Anyways, oh, and then this one, this one has all these little buds too. So I guess I'm gonna have to take off this awful flower. <laughs> so that way all these beautiful buds will shine. And I, I do turn um, all of these when, um, I'm watering my plants and I'll water, I'll turn them throughout the week too just so that way they all get a nice even amount of sunshine like this one because this one's this one was already stretched when I got it um, but you know it's just stretched all the way over and it might be kind of pretty if I add something in he else in here but we'll see So this actually ended up being the next day, so um, I'll just, I mean, you can see how my plants look the next day. I let them soak, it's kind of fuzzy, it's kind of cute, um, there. I let them soak um, while I was doing my, taking, you know, um, while I was watering my plants yesterday, and um, then I put them upside down, so in the bowl, in the bowl I dried them out upside down like this um, before I put them back in here so that way there wasn't a bunch of water in the crown so that way it wouldn't rot. And then when I missed these, when I go around and missed all my ferns, I also will miss these. So I'll just show you what I do. I just missed them. A little bit and if they seem extra dry then I'll give them a little extra but um, they're pretty happy they've been doing really good and there's some little bit of new growth on this one in the mid like there's some new growth in there um, this one this one not as much but um, this one was bigger a little bit bigger and very red and oh I just love the color on this air plant I'll just miss my bird's nest fern. And so I, I do miss these sometimes, but the, see, they don't really need it. Like these ones, I um, sometimes I just do this kind of to dust them, but um, I don't miss them like I miss my ferns just because um, not all my ferns have, have these little pots under them, and like this one doesn't, and so I have to miss it a little bit more. And it just loves it when I miss it. It loves it so much. Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, anyways, next week I'll probably have my video on watering my succulents as long as they need it. And, um, I mean, this really, I have a lot of plants. Um, I'm always getting more because I just love <laughs> buying plants and um, taking care of them and just, Seeing them grow and all the different kinds of plants, I just love them. But this really doesn't take me very long. Like when it, when I'm doing it by myself without the camera, um, it takes me maybe about ten minutes. Whereas, um, but then when I go, sometimes I'll water them all my succulents. It happens that it just works out to water them all on the same day as the rest of my plants, and that maybe adds another like five minutes. Um, because I'm just kind of, I, I water them along with my other stuff sometimes if they need extra water. Otherwise, I do give them fertilizer because I give them fertilizer about once a month. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, remember that everybody waters.
flowers a little differently and your climate will dictate what your plants need. So if you're more humid, then the soil will retain the water a little bit more. Um, if you're really dry, like my climate, then you'll need water a little bit more. But then like when the swamp cooler is on, then it makes the air more humid. And so I don't necessarily need to water as much. So it just really depends. Um, some plants, I just make sure that it's more saturated. And then other plants, I make sure that the water drains a little faster and I make sure that I can, that it drains out enough water that um, it'll be just fine. And even my plants that they do drain all the water, I don't like them to be sitting in a pan of water because then it's still sitting in water. So um, usually I just like the soil to be more saturated if it needs more water. Otherwise I'll just water it more than once a week if it's really needing some a good drink. So anyways, I hope that these tips have helped you and um, you found them beneficial. Have a great week, you guys. Bye.